playback in your Pro Tools session and got a bunch of static garbage like that? Well, it happens quite often. It's the flaw with the CPU power. It's eventually going to happen no matter what you do. But before, I used to think that I would have to close out of my session and then reopen everything. And sometimes doing that with the plugins that you have on there, you're going to get the same results. But I have a little hack here to show you how you don't have to close anything out and just do a little tweak and you're good to go with the sound that you want to hear being played back. So the first thing that I like to do is hit Command S. Cannot stress that enough. Always save your sessions no matter what because anything can happen and you don't want to not save any of the moves that you've just made before hitting playback and getting that awful static noise. So after saving, we'll go up here to Setup. And under Playback Engine, we'll go down here to Disk Playback. Now I like to kind of fluctuate between this area right here. I think that's good enough, all you have to have. So right now we're on 12 gigabytes. And all you have to do is just select another one. So let's select 10. That's good enough for me. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we hit play. Perfect. So now we can continue on with our mixing session. And if this happens again after you add some more plugins and that CPU issue comes back with all the static noise, just go up and change it back to 12. It'll work. Thanks so much for checking out this video, y'all. I hope this little trick works for you the next time that, you know, you run into this issue. Don't panic. We can always fix things. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And if this is a video that you did enjoy, hit the thumbs up. And as always, we'll talk again real soon.